Go, Nichiwa Mina, this is Tisakura, and you're watching Pokecast. Today's 10 minute first impressions is on. Let's see if I can say this right. Is. Creel. Creoxlar? Sigma? Creoxlar? We'll leave it at that. <laughs> I'll use that one that makes it weird and fun. Anyway, this is going to be a fun one. I have 10 minutes to play the game. First time playing the game or version thereof. And I won't skip anything. This is going to be fun. Let's start that timer. Timer has been started. Okay, let's get to the start screen. There we are. Push any button. Let's just start the game. Okay. Helping story mode. Score attack mode. Survival mode. Training mode. Probably do training mode, but for the heck of it, let's do score attack mode. Okay, hmm. I think I only get to use her because I haven't unlocked anybody. Oh. Can't do any of that. Hmm. Let's go back. Okay, I choose you. Nice. Selected. Well, that's the only thing I have to select. And already I got a light up on my controller. Alright. The death is becoming of the... Yeah, I do got a camera control. Oh, there's a flying one. The flying one is now been subdued. Oh, now we got a couple of them. Oh, crap, big one. And I just lost my chain, didn't I? Ah, oh, big and difficult. It is now dead, though. Is there like a lock button? Nope, but I can uh, change my camera with that. That's. Oh, it completely dodged me. Oh, crap. Okay. Nice. Big and ugly. And more big and ugly. Oh, crap. Well, I leveled up, so that's nice. Okay. Nice, it can hurt its own minions. Unfortunately for me, I'm not going to survive much longer. Good, the coins heal me. Oh, great. And I completed it. Good. Be 
Beautiful. Okay, let's return to mode select. And... Huh. Story mode, I don't want to do that because I'll probably not make it even through anything. Survival mode. Ready? Go! Okay, I see. You push uh, the L button and it automatically turns the camera to allow you to go right after the next monster. That's actually right. That's helpful. Okay, so every time you play, you're reset back to what your previous level. It takes me before I can actually get some magic. I'm not saying I don't like this. This is actually a f this is fun. guy showed up. At least he can't knock me out the thing, or at least I hope not. Nice. Leveled again. Up to level 6. No blue ones yet. But it does worry me about what's coming next, you know, because I've already seen kind of what happens next just within two minutes to, with the more I attack. Okay, we got blues. I'm wondering then what the main storyline is going to be like. Oh crap! I had to attack this guy from the back. It's not even cool, guys. Attacking a four defenseless little girl. Okay, now we have a blue one. Not good. Oh, not good. Oh, crap. I'm can you get dizzy. Leveled. 
Well, if all else fails, take out the smaller characters to at least semi-level up. Yep, I'm not going to survive much longer. Dude, we have red ones now. Oh, crap. Okay, and there goes the timer. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I find these games really fun. And I enjoy this because if Lotto is just taking down things, see how far you can get, you know, leveling up the character. I'm curious to see where, you know, what else they're going to be able to give me. And will I have more weapons, more magic? And most likely I'll be able to unlock people in the main game. And that's going to be a lot of fun. I... I'm, I'd like to see exactly what I'll be able to take down further in the game as well. Since things keep on changing colors, so what's gonna be the ultimate color? And what's the what's the highest level? I mean, when there's a zero zero zero, it means you can probably get all the way up to nine nine nine. And if that is true, holy freaking crap, this is gonna take forever. Um. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just need something like this, and it makes it nice because you get to just enjoy seeing how far you can go. It feels more like an arcade game than does an RPG. And that is something important. So... I really do enjoy that. Um... I would like to see what the other characters are going to look like. See what their abilities are. And the game really want, you know, draws me in to see how far I'm going to be willing to go into the game. And see how far I'm going to try and conquer it so I'm happy with that a lot I mean that's really cool so yeah this is one of those fun little ones that you can almost say it's kind of out of the box but it has been pulled inspiration from other games so that does make me very happy so I hope you guys have enjoyed this is Tisa Gura saying ciao and sayonara